so no family the, the church hadn't taken over or taken the place of Yahshua and this is your hope to my Gentile brothers and sisters y'all must understand that y'all gotta come through us you might not like it and it's new to you but you gotta cleave to us family you gotta admit who we are and to all those out there preaching Yahuwah and Yahushua and still not admitting that us us folks are the true people of the Most High and that you have to cling to us to make it into the land for salvation then you still damn you can preach all you want you can teach all you want but if you're not making the distinction between those folks over there and us folks, you still damn. So it's time to tell the truth. And that's not only for the Gentiles, that's for us folks too. Anybody preaching this, this for sure, you got to make that a statement beforehand. That we're the chosen people of the Most High. And that we, you must cling to us. What the text say? That's an important part. For the Most High will have mercy on your code and will yet choose Israel. Uh oh. Will yet choose Israel. This is happening now. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Gentiles would support and cleave and this is the great substance part it's time for y'all to come up off them goods it's time for y'all to come up off that substance and support Yashiria the true people of the most high the text says you're going to do it, and you might as well do it now. And I know I have a few Gentile brothers and sisters that support me and reach out to me. But it's time to, to, to question everything, family. Christianity first, or to the Jew first, as the text says. It's time to wait. And it's really time to wait what's really over here on the left side in this Christianity what have you really been taught Hasatan is the Elohim of this world family. and if he's the Elohim of this world do you think for one minute he's going to let Christianity if it was the truth belief system that the Most High set up why would he let it be so big there's a church on every corner but where's the fruit? Can't nobody show me no fruit. Nobody. Folks are running from the church instead of running to it. Because <laughs> their eyes are open. They like these. Ugh. I almost said bastard, but we ain't gonna say that. Have lied to us. And yes, they're bastards. Because the Most High is not their, their father. And we shouldn't call them bastards because they they do have a father, which is Hasatan. They do. And pardon me for cussing. I, I try not to cuss on these recordings, but that one slipped. No, we didn't. We said we weren't going to say it, but I, I explained what I want them to say. <laughs> Praise the Most High. Let's get back. But it's time to question everything, family. What do you really believe? Mm -mm -mm. Do you really believe you're a lying pastor? D 
deep in your heart who's not calling you to repentance. He's calling you to repentance just to get that get off. Come on up to come come on up to the um to the altar. Let pastor slap some holy oil on you. Give you that touch. Stir up that music. Get you the coon dancing. <laughs> Cooning and buffooning. Then say the Holy Spirit took over. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's a demon. Because you go out here later on in the day and listen to him and tell you to go on over here and holler at Charlie. <laughs> or go holler at Sue. That's our time, family. We had to really try to drive this out there home. Because the folks been lied to. All you got to do is see who's to judge who's right and wrong at this time. Is look and see who's calling folks to repentance. Like John the Baptist did and like Yahushua did. See who's saying you must be born again. Which means you have to turn from your wicked ways. You have to come out from among them and be separate. But don't nobody want to be separate these days, family. No, sir. Everybody is in this idea of inclusion. Inclusion. But I say I'm not having no part of the mess. <laughs> I've been in the mess too long to keep slipping in and out. No, sir, not no more. Because the text says, those that know better in my own words, and don't do right, will be whipped with many stripes. Uh-oh. And I will fresh them. You can see where they came over the old one that happened in 2016. Praise the Most High, he delivered me from all. <laughs> the text says they have many afflictions. And don't you know we cause most of our afflictions, family? By a hard head. <laughs> By a stiff neck, as the text says. Let's read that one more time. Barack 2 and 30. If I knew they wouldn't hear me, because it is a stiff neck people, but in the land of their captivity shall they remember themselves. Why are they going to remember our problems? Because this is um, Pharaoh turned up the heat. <laughs> Pharaoh said, no, y'all go, go get your own straw. Go, go on and collect your own straw. And I want you to have the same amount of bricks that you had before you had to find your own straw. The affliction started turning up, family. And we see it. Our young boys and guys getting killed in the street. It's still happening. Ain't nothing changed, family. All kinds of things going on, family, against our people. And I'm not going to sit here and name it, but y'all see. And see, the thing about it is, the whole world sees. And to my Gentile brothers and sisters, all over the world, this is your way out. Remember that Isaiah 14, read that. And take it to the most high. And say, I want to clean for them folks. And I don't mind serving them. So they're good people. You see how good they are now? They're kind. They're caring. I'm going with Robert. <laughs> and I say, come on. You can go with me. The text says that one Gentile will cleave, ten Gentiles will cleave to one Jew. Yahudim. And it says in Zechariah, 8 and 23. Remember this one too, family. And our um, fellow Hebrew believers remember this also. Brothers and sisters. Ox and the coaches. That's Zechariah 8 and 23. Thus says the Most High Lord of hosts. In those days, and when it says in those, day, those days, family, let's talk about these days. It shall come to pass that 10 men out of all the languages of the nation shall take hold 
even shall take hold of the skirt or the shirt of him that is Yahudim or Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard that the Most High is with you. How they gonna hear your family if ain't nobody screaming from that, that mountaintop? How they gonna hear if ain't nobody saying nothing? How they gonna hear if old line pimp peep past fine past the line to folks? Tell them it's okay, do what you do. We nobody's perfect. Just come back on Sunday morning, pay your tithes and offerings, and I'll forgive you. I put that magic touch on you. And family that touch works. These people put so much belief into a man that when he touch them, they, they, they are delivered for a minute as far as that guilt is concerned because they feel like they just stand forgiven. But that guilt is still there. It subsides for a few days when, when you go back out and do what you shouldn't be doing. Go back to lying, go back to stealing, Go back to murdering your brothers and sisters with that wagon, that yak, that wagon, <laughs> that wagon, um, what we call that? That wagon, we'll say that wagon dragon, <laughs> which is that tongue. Some of us, that's our problem, we talk too much. Oh boy, I don't know where that came from. But it's true. Just like the most I told me, shut up, brother. Leave it alone, let me handle it. He said, if you let me, I'll take care of you. And that's what he's saying to our brothers and sisters today. Of all ethnicities. If you let me, I'll take care of you. If you let me, I'll get you out of this. Because without me, there is no hope. That's what he's saying. And without my people, there is no hope either in this earth. We're what's holding back the destruction. Where was holding back the major judgment on this point, on this earth? But, and that's in two ways. We're holding it back in a good way and a bad way. And the bad way is we want to continue to live like heathens. But the Most High is being patient with us. He says in the text, he don't wish that any should perish, that all would come to salvation. But he know what ain't happening. Praise the most high family. We're gonna let that be our time, but it's time to question everything. Everything you thought you knew, family. And see that happened to me about six, seven years ago. And it really shook me, and I was heartbroken, sad, happy, mad. <laughs> Wanting to put hands on folks, wanting to hug folks and tell them you gotta repent the most I want you to come to him. Because this is the real. That baloney mess they preach over the pulpit is just for hype, just for a show. See, anybody can take the most high's word and manipulate it and turn it. Just like we saw in the movie Eli, where the um, villain was doing all he could do to get the most high's word. Because he knew the power of possessing the Most High's word. He knew the power of that of the word, and these lying preachers do too. So question, question your lying pastor. Tell him Robert said to question your lying to him. <laughs> I ain't cussing no more. Tell him Robert said question. And give him my link so you can come and watch what we do. We're saying repent, turn back to the Most High, or turn to the Most High, period. Whoever you are, I don't care who you are, the text is anybody that believes can be saved. And you're the stranger. See, once we thought we was the stranger, we thought we was the Gentiles. <laughs> but no, sir, we're the chosen people, the holy nation, called out of darkness to come into the light. Praise the Most High. For I am not ashamed of the, the Basoro of Mashiach, for it is the power of Yahuwah unto salvation to everyone or whoever believes.
to the, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. To the Jew first and then also to the other nations. To Yahudim, Judah first and then to all the other nations. But you gotta cleave. <laughs> you gotta cleave. You got to cleave to Judah. To the house of your code. And they shall cleave to the house of your code. That should be part of your prayer. And to my Gentile brothers and sisters. El Elohim Yahuwah, the Most High God, or Elohim, please help me to cleave to Jacob. Those Hebrew Israelites we see out there on the corner. You know, you question them. But people like myself and other people that say repent, all can come to him. It don't matter what, what nation you are. The most I want you. The most I want you. And see, you must be a testimony yourself. That the most highest people are right here in the land of their captivity. And that we must support them. <clears throat> and I'm going to give my cash out for my um, Gentile brothers and sisters that want to clean <laughs> and support their brothers as we do what we do for the Most High's kingdom. It's in on the screen now. And to whoever want to support your brother. Because we're going to keep doing the thing. Every day as the Most High leads. Especially now since I'm out of work. And um healing up. Praise the most high. We're gonna let it be our time. The most high bless and keep you. I love y'all. Remember that I love y'all. I love all y'all family. I don't care who you are. And I can tell who reaching out to me. <laughs> you know, I have a discerner that's active and working. The Ruach HaKadosh is with me, family. Always. And sometimes I get out of line and he snatches me right back in. Oh, boy, that's too tight. But praise the most out, family. Like I said, we love you. We pray for you every single day. That the most high will continue to give us eyes to see, ears to hear, hearts to perceive, and therefore a mouth to speak boldly. And see, what, what are we having eyes to see, the Messiah? This text here that says, turn from your wicked ways, repent. Come out from amongst them and be separate. Be that holy people I made you to be, that set apart people. And then tell others about the Most High. I love y'all. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.